heard a radio program this morning about the amount of children in America who are below the poverty line and how different groups are petitioning the government to spend more money on feeding kids and more money on education in America. Um, and it makes a lot of sense. No one wants to see kids go hungry. I'm not against that at all, but compare it it's almost it's almost funny it's so ironic because the poverty line in America is so rich okay compared to people in other countries there was a famine still going on brought to my attention today going on in the south of Africa, um, Somalia and the surrounding areas. And, you know, famines happen, natural disasters happen, you know, we see them, we hear about them in the news, oh, that's awful, and we go about our day. I've done it thousands of times. But when I, when I saw this news story and I clicked through the pictures People are burying their children. Three-year-olds, seven-year-olds, babies, wrapped in white cloths and laid in the ground because starvation and disease killed them. And we whine and complain about our poverty line. And I feel angry. I feel angry that we've been given this world to take care of. We've been entrusted with the gifts we have, the resources we have. We were, if you're watching this, you were probably born in a country where we have technology, clean water, available food, okay? And we take it for granted, guys. We take it for granted every single day. So when I saw these pictures, my heart just broke and my blood started pumping. And I, I'm mad. I'm mad that people have taken what they've been given and allowed this to happen. We grow enough food in this world to feed everybody. But it doesn't get to everybody. Because there's greed, because... Oh, it's just ridiculous! Why can't we... Mm. So what do you do? What do you do? I, I, I saw this website, I saw this news story, these pictures, and I had to do something. Because, I don't know if it affects me more now that I have nieces. Um, Maya will be three in October, and little Jalen just turned one in June, and I love them! I love these kids! And to imagine wrapping one up in a little white blanket and putting her in the ground. I gotta do something. I can't, I have to, okay? So I went online. And I searched through charity organizations. I found one I really like. And it's so convenient. You can do it in two minutes. Okay, I'm going to leave the link all over the place. I've got it on my Facebook. I'll put it on my MySpace, even though I don't ever use MySpace anymore except for music. I, I want to... I want to tattoo it on my arm. <laughs> it's just like, I, I got to get this out because people need to know that there is something they can do. Um, it's a, it's one of those text donations. You text MANA to this number and it takes 10 bucks, um, when you pay your cell phone bill. That's it. And it's, it's so small, but it's so important because when Jesus went to the garden to pray, he told his disciples to watch and pray. 
it's not just the faith. It's the faith and the doing. It's the action and the believing. We gotta, we gotta combine them. We gotta keep them together because one without the other doesn't get anything done. So, check out the charity, check out the links, and please, 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 God doesn't want, oh, and by the way, help the people in Somalia tonight as you're falling asleep. We, we have to claim it, guys. We've been given authority in this world. You gotta get down on your knees, and you gotta pray, and you gotta pray hard, and you gotta pray for real, and you gotta pray like that is your brother and that is your sister that's dying over there because guys they are they are don't think about it don't think about your budget just do it <laughs>